and we've got 120 listings sorted out in no time whatsoever without writing any keywords ourselves. So this is just mind blowing. There is a new and super powerful AI tool for print on demand. It's just recently launched getting amazing feedback from the people who've tried it. And anyone who utilizes this in 2024 will have a massive advantage, especially when selling on Etsy. So the tool is called Vision AI. It lives within my designs and this lets you generate up to 120 listings that are optimized for Etsy without providing any keywords. It literally just looks at your designs and gives you a title, description, and tags and i'll show you how to use this in this video for multiple different product types and scenarios such as t-shirts mugs whether you have personalized products or designs and i'll also show you how to use it for digital downloads if that's what you're selling so the first thing you'll have to do is sign up to my designs i'll have a link to it in the description then you will need to head over to the listings tab and create a new folder you can find the folder system up here so just click on this click add new folder give it a relevant name use the default template that works then you'll click add new folder and open it down here with this blue button i've already done that and i've uploaded some designs to this you can upload or add new designs to your folder with this button over here in the top right so just click on upload files drag and drop your files into this and then they'll be imported one after another. Uh, the designs you're seeing here are a creative fabrica bundle for Valentine's Day and um, looks quite nice. All of these have a bit of text in them, which will also be a good example because Vision AI can read and include the text within your listing. And by the way, this bundle from Creative Fabrica, I will also leave a link to in the description if you want to use it for Valentine's Day at all. So once you've got your designs, imported what you'll have to do is select them all with this button so hit select all then we we'll want to select vision ai and here you've got a few different settings so you'll want to have the design file right here selected as the input file that's what it's analyzing for the listing data then you can choose the product type so by default it's t-shirt but as you can see we've got a long list of different product types right here if you can't find the product type that you want to sell you can also click on other and then just specify whatever you want down here with some custom text let's just use t-shirt as an example all of these other ones can stay the same so you can customize this if needed if you want your data to be saved into a different field but in most cases this can just stay at the default and then you've got some additional options at the bottom which you don't have to use but they are there so you can add product features or essentially you can select the exact product that you want to sell so that is then included in the description with the product details so in this case let's say we wanted to sell the bella canva 3001 you can just select this from the drop down and then you'll get those features added to the listing description you can also include custom instructions like let's say you wanted some emojis in there or you wanted it to be written in a different language you can add those at the bottom too you can experiment with this it's not just limited to emojis and a language but yeah this is essentially like customizing your prompt a little bit but let's just leave that out let's just look at a fairly simple straightforward example right here to begin with hit generate listing data once you're ready yes run vision ai and then it's going to add this job to the queue it's quite quick it's doing it for eight designs right here but i've tested it for 120 only takes about a minute or two max and uh, i've got the design view right here selected you can change your view with this button in the top corner this brings it back to the listing view where you can actually see the different data points that are being entered so it's already done only took a few seconds let's have a look at what it came back with so the first one right here says cute lover sorrows t-shirt funny dinosaur valentine's day tea so it does identify that it is for valentine's day which is really good green dino with hard unisex shirt the tags over here lovasaurus t dinosaur t-shirt funny dino t unisex valentine's t cute dinosaur love so it has got a variety of long tail keywords it has different types of t-shirt keywords which is really good so we've got t t-shirt top we've got just shirt right here green dinosaur shirt gift for dino lovers like this these tags are really really good the description let's have a look at that get ready for valentine's day this adorable lovasaurus t-shirt this funny and cute t-feature 
features a green dinosaur complete with sunglasses holding a red hat. So it's describing the design very well right there and also including the word right here in quotation marks, which is really, really good. It's perfect for dino lovers who want to show their soft side on the day of love made with comfortable materials it's suitable for both men and women and makes a great gift for that special someone who adores prehistoric puns that's perfect such a good description and product features as well right here at the bottom so this has got the bella canva 3001 product details for the customer to get some more in-depth info so this is great this is just the first description let's look at some of the other ones more briefly so here we've got relevant keywords as well we've got skateboarding trendy skater top valentine's day again figured that out very easily we've got a decent description right here celebrate valentine's day in a fun and unique way with this playful cooler than cupid t-shirt featuring a charming cartoon hat on a skateboard and the tags how are they looking valentine's shirt cool cupid t skater hat top funny love shirt if you want to make any adjustments like if you're not happy with these descriptions they are based on ai and they're not always going to be 100 percent perfect if you want to make changes you can do like let's say i didn't like the funny love shirt tag you can just click on it over here that deletes that you can add a new tag to this like funny skating gift for example hit enter it'll be added to the list if you've got a maximum of 13 tags for etsy same goes obviously for the title and description you can make changes to this if you wish and you can also by the way go to all actions edit in bulk and then you can affect all of the listings at once and you can do things such as add a bit of text to the end you can add some text to the front find and replace words if you want to get rid of certain things you can overwrite the entire field like you have got more bulk functionality right here if you want to make some edits but overall if we scroll through this vision ai has done a great job creating these t-shirt listings right here we've got cute toddler love shirt yeah, it's even realized that this design is great for kids rather than adults and included that in the listing. So this is the first example. Now I'm going to show you how to use some of the other Vision AI features. And by the way, you might be wondering what to do if you want to sell multiple products in the same listing. I'm going to show you that later in the video as well. So for the second example, I've gone back to an old folder where I showcased Fraser AI, which is essentially the previous version of Vision AI, a lot less powerful. You had to provide a primary keyword for that to work and the listings weren't quite as optimized for Etsy either. So let's overwrite this data. This is 120 designs just to prove to you that it does work. And yet yeah, just select all the listings right here. That's the first step, Vision AI. And in this case, I want to do it for a sticker. These can stay the same and uh, product features, I'll just leave that out. Custom instructions, I wanted to show you this. I've prepared a bit of pre-made text right here as an example, and it says include relevant emojis throughout the description and add details about fast dispatch within one to three days. Then let's go ahead and hit generate listing data. All the fields will be overwritten, that's fine. Run Vision AI, and there we go, being added to the queue. I'll skip ahead in the video, but I'll give you a hint as to how long this took, because 120 listings is quite a bit to run through. One minute later. Yes, the SpongeBob transition was correct. It only took one minute to generate all of these listings. Very impressive. And yeah, if you did this manually, it'd take you absolutely forever. So. What have we got right here? The title says retired accountant, sticker, funny retirement gift, beach themed decal. So that's great. It includes a different version of the word sticker right there. Office, farewell present. That is good. I've never thought of that as sort of a retirement gift alternative. And then the tags, we've got a variety of them as well. What else can we see right here? Sarcastic sticker, that's pretty good. Laptop, notebook. Okay, that's really cool. It's including different specific stickers that people might be searching for, for a laptop, for a notebook, for a desk, whatever it may be. And the description reads, celebrate a well-deserved retirement with this playful retired accountant sticker. Perfect for the newly retired professional. This decal features a beach scene reflected in sunglasses, symbolizing endless days of relaxation. Ideal for laptops, notebooks, or office desks. It's a constant reminder of the good life ahead. Made from durable vinyl, it's designed to withstand daily wear and tear. Ships quickly within one to three days for a fast and satisfying purchase. So it has taken that into account and has also added some good relevant uh, sort of emojis to these listings. And as you can see, it's done this for all of these designs right here. Administrative assistant, it's read all of them correctly. And we've got 120 listings sorted out in no time whatsoever without writing any keywords ourselves. So this is 
just mind blowing. But let's say you wanted to sell these as a digital download instead. What you can do is you can head back to Vision AI. You can change the product type right here to digital. That is a good starting point. Or what I find to be even more effective is go to other. And then you could write a few prompts right here, such as instant download. And then the file types you want to be included. So let's say you want to sell SVG, you want to sell PNG, EPS, and DXF as the files, then just put that in here, hit uh, generate listing data. Yes, run Vision AI. And it's going to create a really, really good description that is suitable for digital downloads instead. So here we go. We've got retired accountant SVG Beach Zone Class Design Digital Download Tropical Paradise Clip Art. That's great. Retirement Party Decor EPS PNG DXF files. The tags as well right here. Lots of relevant keywords mixed with the file types. That is brilliant. And the description as well includes different applications like party decorations, t-shirts, tote bags, things that people might purchase this digital download for and print it on. Instantly download this digital design featuring a tropical beach scene in sunglasses, comes on SVG, PNG, EPS, and DXF formats suitable for cutting machines and DIY projects. Brilliant. These descriptions are really, really good for digital downloads. So that is very promising. The last example I want to show you is what if we have a personalizable design? Design, where it just says, you know, custom text or add your name here, something like that. Does Vision AI perform well there as well? And we're going to find out right here in a minute. So here we go. We are inside of a different folder. We've got a bunch of coffee mug designs with different letters of the alphabet. And it says your text here for it to be personalized by the customer. So let's see if this works. I've got all of them selected. I'm heading to Vision AI, changing this to mug and I'll also actually choose the 11 ounce white coffee mug hit generate listing data and let's see if vision ai is smart enough to identify that this is a personalizable design so here we go it's generated all of these listings in a flash with the description and it's included keywords such as personalized right here custom initial like it's literally done the perfect Thing. The tags are very relevant. Monogram coffee mug, custom initial mug, letter A mug, floral design. Like, yeah, the, these listings are perfect. We've got the product details at the bottom right here, four and 11 ounce coffee mug as well. So what more could you want? Here we've got it for letter B, here for letter C. So every time we've got a personalized listing as optimized for the design and the product type. And it's literally just taken about two minutes to do. And if you wanted to sell multiple product types in the same listing, you can also do this by clicking on Vision AI, going to the bottom in the product selection tab, just choosing other, and then you can type in 11 ounce mug like this and 15 ounce mug so that way both of these will be included in the listing i believe in the future it will also be possible that you can select two products from this drop down at the moment you can only choose one unfortunately but yeah you can work around with this option hit generate listing yes run vision ai and then it's going to uh, adjust the description to include text that says that you can get this design on both an 11 ounce and a 15 ounce mug as well here we go you can see the example let's change that in the description 11 ounce and 15 ounce and you can also see it reflected in the actual title um, so that both people searching for a big and a small regular mug will find your listing accordingly if you want to save yourself a ton of time and sell personalized products on etsy in bulk then make sure to check out this video next for my full my designs tutorial showing you this step-by-step -step process